Hi, this is Tara Green, and this is the information about the December 11th, 12th Gemini full moon on 1212, which was perfectly formed at 1212 in the morning on December the 12th in Eastern Standard Time. So here we can see the sun in Sag conjunct Athena on the great attractor at 14 Sagittarius opposite the moon in Gemini at 19 plus degrees. So very talkative moon, very cheery, chatty, outgoing. Mars is at the 15th degree of Scorpio, so it's very powerful with some deep, sexy undertones there. And Mars is actually trining Neptune at 15 degrees as well. So the 15th degrees are the most powerful. Ceres is there at 24 degrees of Pisces as well. And it is sextiling sexy Venus in Capricorn in her business suit and Pluto in Capricorn and Saturn in Capricorn. Uh, Ceres is also in Capricorn. We're having the Capricorn overload, very grounded this Gemini full moon. Ceres, the great mother, we eat her cereals every morning. So let's remember that we do partake of Ceres' beauty and goddess of the earth every morning. The south node is in uh, Capricorn as well as Jupiter. So that Capricorn overload is gonna continue for a while. So really, you can see everything's pretty top heavy there up in the natural 10th house. Chiron is at basically at the first degree of the zodiac at Aries. So again, Chiron is stationary at this point, very, very powerful. We're feeling our wounds. A lot of us are feeling vulnerable. Juno, the goddess of feminine wisdom, is at 12 degrees of Libra, actually right on my Saturn. And the south node is at eight degrees of Cancer. So that's where we're all evolving to. South node in Cancer. Uranus is in earthy Taurus as well, trying Jupiter right now. So really easy to make some big changes. Trying the south node as well in Taurus. Our values are changing. Uh, Vesta, the goddess of investments and wisdom is at 13 degrees of Taurus, uh, also opposite Mars. So there's some, maybe some good investments deep down. Secret stuff, uh, earthy. Oh, sensuous. Be good to your body. Invest in your body. And of course, Eris, the goddess of Disturbia, is always at 23 degrees Aries. Of course, she is also squaring Pluto and will be squaring that big alignment on January the 12th, 2020. So it's 222. Just went flash by on this video. It's Tara Green here. You can get in touch with me at taratero.com. Many blessings for the full moon.